Hello everyone, this video I will show you our new product. We have designed this E16T board. So this board also is based on the ESP32 module and uh, this design have based on the E16S board. But this time we have added the Tuya module so that you can use Tuya application and control this all release on and off in the world in anywhere just to have the internet. So we have Design this firmware you just direct to use, not need to write any Arduino code or other code. And you can use this input button and you can use for the wall switch, control this relay and use mobile phone by the Tuya application at the same time. And also uh, because we have used the ESP32, you can use the ESP home and integrate this board to home assistant very easily, just like the E16S board. And the other design, we have added the RTC module. So this will be have a clock and on this board. And this time we have re replaced the ESP32 module with the antenna version. So that you can connect with extend antenna easily. Okay, let's look at the some hardware details. Okay, let's look at this E16T board, the hardware details. Here you can see that in front of the PCB board, of the E16T and uh, this is the back this is the back side and this board uh, we have installed to the plastic shoe you can see here so that you can install on the DIN reel very easily uh, just like this uh, you can install this DIN reel and uh, install in your power distribution box very easily. And here we can see some details of the interface. You can see uh, this relay all is removable. So this relay will be replaced very easily. Just you can see here like this, uh, you can remove this relay if the relay is bad or broken. So this is relay. That is 16 ampere. I think that is enough for you to use for some appliance. So we can install uh, this relay very easily. And here you can see have 16 channel output. Uh, every channel that you can see that is calm and this is normal open. Uh, calm and normal open for every channel, two channels, three channel. And here you can see this side, uh, you can see here that have digital input for 16 channel digital input uh, also you can see here have some buttons these buttons uh, you can use for test the input or you can also use the wall switch drive contact wall switch connect to this terminal uh, so you can connect with the 16 channel of the switch button and this is the power and this is the ground and this is IS485 interface A and B and here are some four channel analog input uh, two channel also is for 0 to 5 volt and the two channel is for 4 to 20 milliampere so that's for analog sensor use and this is the Ethernet the Ethernet cable and connect with the ESP32 and this time you can see this is the ESP32 but we have used this version that have uh, IPX so that you can use this extend antenna easily. And you can use this antenna, also you can use uh, this antenna. So these two antenna you can choose install on the board. Uh, you can see like this, I can install the antenna at here. Or you can also remove this antenna and install antenna and this is for long distance so that you just connect uh, with school and so that you can install this antenna outside of your power distribution box. And here you can see this ESP32 can use the extender antenna. But the antenna is connected to this uh, SMA socket. 
and this you can see also have a socket. This have a socket. So you can use this line, this cable, and connect to this socket, and connect to this socket that directly. And also you can see that is the white module is the Tuya module. So the Tuya module also can use external antenna. So this SMA is for Tuya module. So you can see here is the socket. You can also connect with socket and this socket with this line so that you can install this antenna uh, for the Tuya, just like this. And this is USB uh, for download the firmware. And that is the reset, reset button for ESP32. And this is download, or you can define this function uh, by your Arduino code, just uh, GPIO zero. And here is the four three three megahertz remote uh, receive module. And here we add this RTC module, so that you can see here uh, this module. So you can see this module that it yes. 3231, that is the RTC clock. So this time, you can install the battery or you install this module on this socket. So that uh, your E16T board will have a clock inside of the board. So this also can remove. And here you can see that the white Socket is I square C extend, so you can extend for sensor, some temperature sensor and humidity sensor by I square C interface. So this is the hardware, and here is the button that for config network for this Tuya, and also the LD for Tuya uh, network state. Okay, this is the hardware details, and this board now we will look at. Uh, how to work with the home assistant and how to work with the Tuya application. Okay, let's look at this E16T board. I have connected with the Ethernet cable and this is the power supply that for DC 12 volts. And you can see the LED is blink. So this connect with the Raspberry Pi and by the home assistant and integrated by the ESP home. So this is my mobile phone. I have uh, already installed the home assistant. You can see here I can turn on all release. Uh, that is 16 channel relay is on and uh, this 16 channel relay is off and for continuing every turn channel uh, turn on and turn off so this is very fast because the home assistant is working in local network and also you can see here the 16 channel input uh, that is the input state now is off but this time I can press this button you can see here I hold on this button this is channel 1 if I hold on this button, that is on. And the channel 2 is on. And the channel 3 is on. So until this is 16, 16 channel, so you can see I can hold on, uh, this is on. So this can use for home assistant, triangle automation. And this is the input and the output uh, for this home assistant application I have integrated by the ESP home. Okay, let's look at this E16T that I have connected with the Wi-Fi antenna and this time I will use this Tuya and I have connected with the power supply. And here is Alexa and the Google Home Speak. You can see this is a Tuya application that is for EXT. E16T I have added to the Tuya application. So you can see I can turn on, turn on relay 1, this is relay 1, and I turn off relay 1, turn on relay 2, and I turn off relay 2. Now, I also can use the voice constraint by Alexa. Turn on switch 1. OK. You can see the switch 1 is on, and the uh, application is updated. Alexa, turn off switch 1. OK. And you can see this is off, and this is off. Now, you can see I have used 4G. So this is 4G uh, for Internet Remote Country. You can see I can click this all on. So that already will on. After already on, you can see the button state will be updated. And I can click or off. And already will be off. And the state will be updated. Already will be off. OK, let's look at if I can use this input button. Actually, you can connect with the terminal with the wall switch, just drag contact. You can see here, I can click that channel 1 will be on. I can click 
that will be off. The application will be off. So I can turn on and turn off by this application, and also I can click uh, by this button. So you can see this is 16 button. You can see here I can click uh, this 16 channel is on and uh, turn off by this mobile phone. And uh, turn on by mobile phone and uh, turn off by this button. So all state will be updated into your application. And also you can use a voice control by the Google Home. I have not uh, for this demo because of the time. Uh, and so you, now you can use the Twitter application and use the Alexa speak and the Google Home speak and the Alice speak uh, work at the same time. So this is the voice country and the Twitter for this E16T board. Okay, thanks for watching.